digging out. Thousands of Rhode Islanders are returning to work after this weekend's storm brought slick roads and icy sidewalks. And on top of that, some kids got an extra day off from classes. It's our top local story at noon, and Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau joins us live in Cranston with the details from our mobile newsroom. It's an interesting contrast. School in Foster, Gloucester. No school in more urban districts like Cranston, also East Providence, Barrington. No school. Seven districts without school. And in those towns and communities, it's an issue of removing these knee-high blankets of snow. And in some cases, these mountain-high blankets of snow. Barrington says that they could not plow their parking lots. East Providence tells us that they had a broken front-end loader. And here in Cranston, the issue is a lack of equipment. Cranston uses a contractor to bring in heavy equipment like this front end loader when the snow piles grow this high. The western, more rural side of the city was frosted with two feet of snow in some areas. <laughs> Here on the eastern end, though, where the students have no issues with the snow day, the problem is the covered sidewalks. Here on Park, the mailman was forced to walk in the street. The, the city crew did an outstanding job of getting the roads clear, but it's still the aftermath that they do the plowing. It's plowed up onto the sidewalks. Kids need to be safe. Nearby Warwick, similar size to Cranston, similar number of students remained open, but Nero points out that district has an extra $41 million in its budget and more of its own heavy equipment. The last little bit of snow that we had a couple of weeks ago, when we knew that they were out sanding and plowing, still we had a two-hour delay on some kids getting into school, and I got parents calling up and saying, how did you not cancel school on a day like today, and we had three inches of snow? You're darned if you do, you're darned if you are absolutely right, and our hope is that it'll all be cleaned up. Most of these districts plan on having school tomorrow. Keep, we'll keep you posted on that. And, of, of course, while parents may be complaining, children are not. In Cranston, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.